Huawei and Google may have quite the toxic relationship at the moment, but their chipsets found inside their flagship smartphones are actually pretty similar, which leads me to be extremely excited for the speed test between the P50 Pro and Pixel 6 Pro. The P50 Pro is rocking Huawei's own in-house Kirin 9000 chipset and its individual main core has a max clock speed of 3.13 gigahertz. This chipset is actually over a year old and debuted with the Mate 40 series last year. The Pixel 6 Pro on the other hand is running Google's first customized Tensor chip which has a slightly lower max clock speed at 2.8 gigahertz but actually has two main cores instead of the Huawei's single main core. The Pixel uses two Cortex-X1 main cores and two Cortex-A76 secondary cores while the Huawei uses a Cortex-A77 for its single main core and uses the exact same A77 cores for its three secondary cores. Both the Huawei and the Pixel use four Cortex-A55 tertiary cores but do bear in mind that the Kirin 9000 has higher clock speeds for its secondary and tertiary cores when compared to the Google Tensor chip. The Huawei and Pixel both utilize LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1 storage, but the Huawei has 8 gigs of RAM as opposed to the Pixel's 12 gigs of RAM. Both devices have been updated to their latest available software updates, that being Harmony OS 2 on the Huawei P50 Pro and Android 12 on the Pixel 6 Pro. While Harmony OS is said to be its own build, do bear in mind that Harmony OS 2 is actually built on the Android 11 framework. Both devices utilize LTPO technology within their displays, allowing them to refresh their screen between 10 and 120 hertz. The Huawei P50 Pro has a screen resolution, which sits somewhere between QHD and Full HD, while the Pixel 6 Pro has an even 1440p WQHD Plus panel. I have made sure to disable all forms of battery optimizations on both devices for the 20 apps that we'll be running through today, and I have also made sure to keep the animation scales within developer options set to 1x across the board. I will also be enabling performance mode within the P50 Pro's battery settings which is lacking on the Pixel device. Round 1 will be all about boot and fingerprint unlock, no face ID over here since the Pixel lacks it. Round 2 will be about initial opening app speed and round 3 will be all about RAM management. Using my fingers over here so to keep things accurate we're going to pop GoPro footage at the bottom left hand corner. This is Technic and without further ado, let's go! We're going to kickstart round one off over here with a simple boot to see which one can power on its device quicker. It is indeed the Pixel 6 Pro picking up its first point in round one with 15.5 seconds as opposed to the crazy 29 seconds on the Huawei device. Now going into the home screens of both devices, the Huawei picks up its first point, refreshing the app icons within the home screen quicker than that of the Pixel. And testing out the fingerprint unlock over here, both of them have optical readers underneath their display. So you have to hold your finger in place for a couple seconds before it actually unlocks. We're not looking at the animations over here, we're just looking at which one is actually triggered quicker and it was indeed the P50 Pro every single time over there closing off round one with two points on the P50 Pro as opposed to one point on the Pixel 6 Pro. Going into our first app in round two being settings the Huawei picked up its first points and picked up its second points going into the calculator app starting off here with a couple first party apps and then afterwards moving on to some third party apps. So far so good for the Huawei with a two point lead over the Pixel in round two. Going into the camera app over here our third first party app that being the Pixel 6 Pro picking up its first point when opening up the app. And flicking over to the selfie camera, the Pixel 6 Pro picks up its second point, now matching the Huawei and now taking the lead over the Huawei after taking the snap and saving into gallery quicker than that of the Huawei. Now three points on the Pixel as opposed to two points on the Huawei. However, going into our Photos app, the Huawei was slightly quicker than that of the Pixel, but the Pixel opened up the photo slightly quicker. Now three points on the Huawei as opposed to four points on the Pixel 6 Pro. Going into Photoshop Express, our first third party app, a photo editing app, the Pixel 6 6 Pro opens the app up quicker and it loads the photo that we just tapped on, the one that we just took slightly quicker as well. Now with double the points as opposed to the P50 Pro sitting on six as opposed to the three on the Huawei. But the Huawei quickly snaps back getting its fourth point after saving the photo to gallery. It said that at the bottom slightly quicker than that of the Pixel. Now four points on the Huawei as opposed to six points on the Pixel. And going into Adobe Premiere Rush over here, a video editing app, which one can open the app up quicker? It is the Pixel with its seventh point now and going into our project, the P50 Pro once again strikes back, picking up its fifth point. Now we're gonna export this 4K 25 frames per second video file. It is a very small file and has an estimated export of just 21 megs in size. So we're gonna compress 
this down to 1080p, match the frame rates of 25 frames per second. We're gonna keep things at real time, as you can see at the bottom right corner of the screen. Which one is gonna be faster? It's gonna be interesting since they're both utilizing the same UFS 3.1 storage. So it's all gonna come down to optimization. It is the Pixel 6 Pro picking up its eighth point now with 8.5 seconds to export that clip, as opposed to the just nine seconds on the P50 Pro. So still pretty similar in that time round when it comes to exporting a clip. Going into Spotify now, six points for the P50 Pro over here as opposed to the eight points on the Pixel 6 Pro. Opening up Astral VPN since we need a VPN here in China in order to open the rest of the apps in this test. The Pixel 6 Pro opens up the VPN quicker than that of the P50 Pro by quite a bit with its ninth point now as opposed to the six points on the P50 Pro and enabling it, it was too close to call between the two. Going into our first app that actually requires a VPN here in China is Google Chrome and opening this one up, which one is it gonna be? The Huawei actually opens it up quicker but the pixel loads the page quicker so no point was allocated over there going into our next app which is facebook once again too close to call here so no points allocated to either device and jumping into our next app which will be another social media app that of course being instagram which one is going to take the point here or is it going to be even again even stevens once more nine points for the pixel 6 pro as opposed to six points for the p50 pro still and going into twitter can things change can one of them snatch up a point here yes the pixel 6 pro does picking up its first double digit point that being 10 points on the Pixel as opposed to the six points on the P50 Pro. Going into YouTube over here, you have to get an older version of YouTube and fiddle around with Google settings in order to get YouTube working, even though I'm using it without an account over here, as well as Google Chrome. The Huawei actually opened up the YouTube app quicker and it searched for my profile quicker. So it now has eight points going into my actual profile, loaded that quicker too now with its ninth point as opposed to the 10 points on the Pixel. Opening up one of my videos, the Huawei starts playing the video quicker, but the Pixel 6 Pro loads the whole page quicker. So once again, no point allocated that time around. Going into our next video streaming service, which is of course Netflix. Opening this one up, it was a bit of a toss up, but they finished loading every single profile icon at the same time. No point was allocated there for that exact reason. But going into to my profile, the Pixel 6 Pro was slightly quicker, now with a two point advantage over the P50 Pro. Going into our first benchmark of two here, being Geekbench version five, the Huawei actually opens up the benchmark quicker than that of the Pixel, now picking up its 10th point, just one point behind that of the Pixel. And I have sped things up, as you can see, bottom right hand corner, and the Pixel 6 Pro does fall behind here when it comes to running through the benchmark, doing it in three minutes and 5.5 seconds, as opposed to the quick two minutes and 45.5 seconds on the Huawei P50 Pro. The Huawei actually had a lower single core score, and the Pixel had a high higher single core score, but the Huawei had a higher multi-core score where the Pixel trailed quite a bit behind there. Opening up our next benchmark, focusing on GPU over here, which is 3D Mark Wildlife. The Huawei actually opened up the app quicker. So now it's taken its first lead in this round two that you can see over here. And jumping into the results, the Pixel 6 Pro finished a smidge quicker, 0.5 seconds quicker than that of the Huawei, and it only got a 0.2 FPS higher as opposed to the Huawei's 35.5 FPS. We got 35.7 FPS on the Pixel 6 Pro. So pretty similar over there since they use the exact same Mali GPU, but just with a different core clock. So it's pretty interesting to see these chipsets go neck and neck because they are so very similar, aside from the crazy two main core clocks on the Pixel as opposed to the single main core clock on the P50 Pro. So the P50 Pro, like I said at the start of the test, does have higher clock speeds across the board. Going into our first game over there, that was Subway Surfers. The Pixel 6 Pro picked up its 13th point and now going into Temple Run 2. Can the Huawei save grace? No, it cannot. 14 points for the Pixel 6 Pro. The only way for the Huawei to hold the lead over here, including its round one score, is to open the last two apps of the 20 quicker than that of the Pixel 6 Pro. Can it do it? It's 12 points in round two for the P50 Pro as opposed to 14 points on the Pixel. And the Huawei can do it. It picks up its 13th points over here, going into Among Us, slightly quicker than that of the Pixel 6 Pro. Struggled to close Among Us on the Pixel device. Very strange, and it flicked to the home screen. Nevertheless, moving on to the last app over here, can the Huawei do it? I did tap on them at the exact same time over there, but the Huawei seems to have a bit of a touch delay sometimes when opening up an app. No, it cannot. The Pixel 6 Pro picks up its 15th point going into PUBG Mobile in 17.5 seconds as opposed to the crazy 25.5 seconds on the Huawei P50 Pro. Now testing out RAM management over here, I only allocate a point if one device keeps an app open and the other one kills it or vice versa, of course. That time around, as you can see, the Pixel 6 Pro kept an app open where the P50 Pro killed it, but the rest of the apps are all getting kept open on both devices, no sweat at all. Meaning that round three will end off with one point on the Pixel 6 Pro as opposed to the zero points 
on the P50 Pro, giving the Pixel a slight edge overall, well, in round three, that is, and of course, contributing to the overall score for the Google Pixel 6 Pro. But honestly, these scores are so ridiculously similar. One of the closest speed tests I have ever tested Checking out the total score here being 15 points for the P50 Pro as opposed to 17 points on the Pixel 6 Pro. And if we focus just on raw speed, raw performance over here, that being round two, the Pixel got 15 points as opposed to the 13 points on the P50 Pro. And if you take a look at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice the battery drains over here, 7% on the Huawei as opposed to 5% on the Pixel. But you've got to remember that the Pixel 6 Pro has a much larger battery at 5,003 milliamps as opposed to the Huawei's 4,360 milliamp hour battery cell. So that means that while the Pixel 6 Pro did have a better milliamp hour per minute drain at 13.9. The Huawei P50 Pros wasn't that much worse at 16.96 because it has a smaller battery. You've also got to bear in mind that the P50 Pro was rocking performance mode throughout this test. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic and I'll catch you in the next one.